Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're going to go through 10 more questions off the ASVAB. In particular, we're going to be looking at the arithmetic reasoning portion of this test. So kind of like the math word problems. Remember, if you want to keep checking out practice for the ASVAB or other standardized tests, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. And if you're finding this content helpful, go ahead and hit the like button to let me know. With that, let's go ahead and dive right back into the questions. So Derek makes $64 per day, but spends four of that on transportation. And they want to know what fraction of his total pay does he spend on transportation, which would be four over 64. Now we do have to reduce this fraction and four does go into 64 fairly easily. So 64 divided by four, well, four goes into six one time with a two remainder, and then four goes into 24 six times. So our final answer here is actually one over 16, which is C. So a recipe calls for six and a half cups of flour, but Leonard only has five and a third cup. So how much more does he need? Essentially, we're just subtracting the two of these here. Without actually doing all of the math behind it, we can pretty much estimate an answer off of what we're given. First off, one half is bigger than one third, so we won't be carrying anything over from the whole place. So in this case, six and a half minus five or a third must have at least one in the answer. So that leaves us with C or D. In that case, I know that to subtract fractions, I need to find a common denominator. And in this case, that would be six. Now, four is not going to work for that at all. So that leaves us with an answer of C. So number three is just asking us to divide this number by four to find an average. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, I'm going to actually just do it in terms of long division. So I'm going to go through each one of these numbers as we go. So here's our thing that we are dividing by four. Four goes into nine two times with one left over. Four goes into 15 three times with three left over. Four goes into 36 nine times even. Then four will go into that five one time. And at this point, I have gone far enough to get to the only answer, which could be A. There are lots of ways to do number four where you have to find 32% of this large number. In other words, multiply 0.32 by this and get your answer. Immediately, A and B are too small to even be considered. So how I want to break up this next part is I'm going to, instead of multiplying by 0.32, I'm going to multiply by 0.3 and 0.02 and then add those two together. Because I care about these big numbers out front, I'm only going to multiply by the 88. So 3 times 88 is going to give me 26.4. Moving the decimal place over 1 for that point 0.3. And same with this, 2 times that 88 is going to give me 1.76. When I add the two of these together, I can see that that would give me front numbers of the 281, not the 275. So our final answer here is D. Looking at number five here, we're going from $2.50 to two eighty for the cost of milk, and they want to know what percentage increase is that. Well, typically, I would find that percentage increase by doing this guy times the percentage, and that would give me the difference between the two. I know the difference is $0.30 cents in this case, going from 50 to 80. So I need to set that equal to the $2.50 times whatever our percent is as a decimal. Well, in order to move this to the other side and get this by itself, we're multiplying, so we're going to divide it to the other side, making it 250 over here, canceling out over there. So if I actually do this division, I'm going to look at it as like cutting 30 in half, which would give me 15, but it's cutting it a bit more than that with the 0 0.5, so it should be a little under 15, and that actually is going to come out being 0.1 or 12%. So for number six, they're saying that one inch on this map represents 20 miles. And on the map, they're going to be traveling four and a fourth inches, and they want to know how many miles that's going to be. So I just need to go ahead and do four times that 20 to give me 80, and I still have another one fourth of an inch. Well, 20 divided by four is five, so I want to add five to that 80, giving me a final answer of 85. So let's set this up. It says that the ratio of in-state to out-of-state is 15 to 2. And it says that we have 750 in-state. So how many would we have out-of-state? Well, this is just solving for x here. So what I'm going to do is multiply x to this side to give me 15x, but it'll cancel it out over here. Then I'm going to multiply the 2 to this side to give me 15x is equal to 750 times 2 is going to be 1500. Divide both sides by that 15, and that's going to end up giving us that x is equal to 100, which is answer A. 
So for number eight, we're just finding an average, but I'm going to show you some of my mental thought process here when adding these together to do this without a calculator. So I have to add these four numbers together, then divide by four. Well, 52 and 52, I'm going to leave the twos for now, but 50 plus 50 is 100. I have that other 100 from that 168. Now, the eight will go with one of these twos to give me 10, and I'll still be left with a two over. I also have this 40 and this, or sorry, 80 and this 60, and that's going to give me what about 140 so we're going to end up with 352 so if i have 352 and i have to divide that by four to get my final answer that means we're looking at 88 which is answer c so basic probability states that you take your total number of whatever outcomes you have and you put that number on the bottom. In this case, we have 105 jelly beans, so I put that on the bottom. And then on the top, you put the number of whatever the thing is that you're looking for. In this case, it's yellow or green. So yellow, there would be 26 of those, and green, there would be 19. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add those together. That's gonna to end up giving me 45 over 105. Now, it may be difficult to realize that, hey, this is not one of your answers over here, but it's because we need to reduce. Because we're doing this in the head, I'm gonna do it in two steps just so you can see the easy divisions here if i divide both the top and bottom by five 45 divided by five is nine and 105 divided by five is 21 in this case i can see they're both divisible by three so nine divided by three is three 21 divided by three is seven so our answer is a so many different ways to do 10. Let's see if you choose the same way I do. So it says that you have 200 mixed nuts in a container. One tenth of those are almond and one fourth of those are cashews. So how many total peanuts are in the can? Well, one tenth would be 10% and one fourth would be 25%. So altogether, that's 35%. So 35% of the mixed nuts are accounted for, which means 65% are going to be peanuts. So what is 65 of 200? Well, 65 out of 100 is 65. Double that to get 200 would be 130. Answer C. Well, guys, that's all 10. I hope you found this content helpful, and I wish you the best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB. Remember, if you want to see more videos like this walking you through question by question, go ahead and check out my page, and make sure to hit the subscribe and like button so that you see more like this as they come out. Again, my name is Daniel Caproni, and I wish you best of luck on your next test.